So anyone can create a website using Drupal, right? That's what we are doing you now regularly. But without writing a single line of code, or uh, maybe at least front end, is it possible? Yes. Here comes the most powerful tool called Site Studio. Hello guys, very good evening. This is Subramanian. Today I'll be talking about an overview of Aqua Site Studio. So why I said uh, an overview is Site Studio is not a uh, you know small thing. It's a huge thing which we can we cannot cover you know in a single session or in 30 minutes or one hour so today i'll briefly go through to the site studio like uh, how to what is site studio how to get start site studio what is the advantages how to use okay let's get started so as i just told so this is our table of contents we'll be discussing what is site studio how to get started with site studio what is the key features Okay, so first of all, what is Site Studio? Site Studio, formerly known as Cohesion, or basically Cohesion theme, it's a Drupal product from Aqua, you know, that builds a low code and component based website. You know, uh, Site Studio provides the ability to create, you know, elegant, performant, and more power, powerful sites you know, in very less time. So, the key features here are is like low code, component based approach, powerful visual user interface, right? Basically, in Drupal, to create a block type or a paragraph type, so one needs to have a specific tweak file for the markup. And now, based on the markup and design, we need to write CSS rules to create a card component. In Site Studio, to build a card component, we can have the template of the card along with the CSS properties within the component itself. So using its drag and drop feature, we can use predefined elements like image, text, and link, and create a layout of the card, right? So all this is done without writing a single line of code. So Site Studio provides uh, the component-based approach. By default, you know, there are 50, around 50 predefined components, which we can start using immediately like text, image, slider, and accordion, etc. And you know, uh, it provides an excellent you know content editing user interface for uh, for adding the components or templates in the layout by just dragging and dropping. So basically, Site Studio, you know, this is very useful for the people like content uh, authors, content editors, marketing people, and the customers because these are the people who will not be having much technical knowledge, though they can create their own website by just adding the components. So how to get started with the Site Studio? So you can download the Cohesion module and theme with Composer and even manually. So once you download this module and theme, just enable the module and install the theme. Right? Uh, so I'll just uh, explain you like how to get started with the demo. So this is a demo site actually. Uh, I could not, I couldn't get a local site due to some issues. So this is a demo site of Site Studio, which is built purely on Site Studio. There is no piece of code written in this site, right? I'll I'll go through step by step. So the moment you install the module and theme. You can see a new tab here called Site Studio. So this is where the most important thing, and we will be doing everything within Site Studio. So if you can go to the Site Studio, there is a configuration. You can, you know, you can do the account settings, system settings, element settings, etc. And then developer tools, you know, style sheet inspector, devil settings, as variables, rebuild. This is to rebuild the components and all. And then website settings. So so if you go to basic unit settings, uh, it's loading. So here you can define your font size, the basic font size. So, and uh, this will apply to the CSS, you know, we have to enable. So this will convert our pixels to REM because REM is the recommended units. Like the same way we have color palette here, you can define your own colors, your own set of colors as per the requirement. Just click here, add 
and write your styles over here. I'm sorry, colors, and then default font settings. So here, these are the font settings. Whatever the fonts you will upload, or you can see over here. Uh, suppose there is a font library section over here. So here you can upload your fonts, either you know icons or the fonts. So here there is an option called you know upload font, import font. So you can even import the CGN URLs or you can upload font locally with EOT, TTF, WFF, whatever the format is needed. And then icon libraries. So as I said, you know, like font have some, we have icon moon, et cetera, et cetera. So you can, you can upload the font, you can uh, you know, import the custom font, uh, you can import using CDN URL. And we have a responsive grid. So basically we have six breakpoints over here, via desktop, desktop, laptop, tablet, phone landscape, and phone. So if you want, you can define your own widths over here, widths, height, gutter, gutter spacing, everything. So you can here you can choose like whether you want desktop first or mobile first. There is option called mobile first as well. And then you can even write SAS variables over here. Define your variable, variable, save it, and you are good to go. And here comes the styles. So there are base styles written by default, which is providing by Site Studio, block, block, block code, body, button, heading one, two, six, link, some of the basic base styles. And then you can write your own custom styles here. So just edit this. You can write your own styles here. So the moment you go here, you see this. So this is where we write our styles. So it will provide you everything. So just add the properties, CSS properties and rules and save it. So you can even write, you know, based on the resolution, which is responsive media queries. So these are all the, as I shown you, these are all the six breakpoints we have. So we can even write the styles for responsive here itself. And then we have style helpers over here. So we can use these helpers as well. And then the most important thing, components. So if you can see here, we have the components different with the different different category. So you can create your own component over here. Just create the component. So create the component, save it and use it. So I'll, I'll explain you that as well soon, how to create a component. And you can add component content over here. You see this. And then category. So you can you can define your own category and add your components with with this uh, category so that you can able to filter easily. And then helpers. So, so there are these are all the helpers. And then templates. You can create templates over here like master templates. Uh, whatever view template menu template uh, so we'll not be writing any code we'll just be doing everything in the ui inside studio so this is our template header footer and then the content region everything so you can create your own style guides and this is sync packages so whatever you do in the site studio that will be a configuration change so this will provide you an yaml file so we will be importing and exporting those ML files. So if you can see this page, so these are multiple components have been used. So there is no CSS written over here. There is no JS written over here. It's just that we are using the predefined components and our custom components as well, of course. So how to create a custom component? So go over here, component, create a component. Let's say 
uh, I'll create a card component. Okay. So here, as I show new category, so you can choose what category this card should belongs to. So which is card components, right? You can upload a preview image over here so that you'll be able to see what is about. So just add, just drag and drop the elements which you wanted to create. So basically for card, let's suppose a title, a description and a link, right? So I'm just adding a heading over here. So here you can choose what heading you wanted to. Heading one, two, three, four, five, six. So you can you can add your heading here itself. Right. And here you can choose your styles. One, two, three, four. So I'll choose the heading style. Let's say if you wanted to, you know, add any settings, you can even you can even add J settings here itself. For admin as well. So just save this. Now we need description, which is paragraph. You can drag and drop as well as you can just click on the plus icon. So this is paragraph. So description. So there is a predefined paragraph styles as well, like link with icon, price row, paragraph large. So paragraph large is basically you know uh, that will increase the font size, etc. Apply. And then one link. So just add this one. Here you can see the properties. You can add your title and type whether uh, this whether this is internal page or you are going to add an external URL anchor tag back to top all other features, right? I'm just adding an internal page over here. So just enter the internal page target. So whether it should be in same window or in new window. At the same time, you can choose your link style itself, whether that should be a button or button, fluid button or link with icon. So I'll just go with the link with icon and save, apply. So here we have added our elements. If you see here, this is our card name. So the form doesn't have any readable settings, right? So we'll have to add you know, fields over here, add form fields, so that you'll be able to see the preview and you can able to edit those while using. So I'm just adding a fields. The moment you add, it will show you mission name not set. So we have to add the mission name so the label so the moment i start typing you can see the mission name over here so if you want you can even edit the mission name here you can even define the max characters how many characters this should be suppose uh, let's say 100 characters sorry this is title right so i'll just put some 20 characters there is a placeholder title so just enter card title so you can even add a default value so i'll just add default value this one so there is a validation so if you want you can you know make it required else leave it right so if you want tooltip you can even add the tooltip as well the position is right top bottom so i'm choosing right and apply next uh add the description uh, i'll just put 100 characters limit over here so Default value is 
So if you, if you add default value over here, if you place this component wherever, that will take this value, right? And then full trip is not needed. I'm adding a link over here. So you can just search the fields over here with the link to page. So here you can restrict the uh, link field, whether if, if you required, you know, you can just turn on else no need. So taxonomy URL as user. So I feel like these are not required here at this moment. So default value is nothing. So I'm just making this as required. So you can even add the uh, error message. Enter URL, right. Now let's do same, right? See? Now you can see here the title, the description, and the link. Save and so. so that that is how you know it will throw the uh, error. Now we are successfully created one component. Let's add a page and use this component. So here we'll be able to find all the components which are available in the site. You can filter the components over here. Components, component, content, helpers. So just component, and I'm just searching over here. See, uh, since I have not added any preview image, I'm not able to see any image. Otherwise, uh, if you see the other components, you can see the preview over here here right so i'm just adding a card over here so this is the default values which i have added over there if i want i'll just add my own uh, description see since we restricted the character limit to 100, but I have added 233. So it is throwing me the error here itself. So let me remove some of the characters. Okay. Since this is a required field, you can see this, the tool tip, enter URL. And here, the enter card title. If I apply here, this will throw me an error because this is a required field. Please enter URL. Right, and apply, save it. So this is the basic component which I created. So code heading, so there is something went wrong. So basically, this is how you create a component and place wherever you want. Component. So now you can see the card component here in the category card components. What get this card? So. I'm going to bring back to the card. Okay, so uh, I can write my stylings over here itself. You can see the styling tab over here. So there is a properties column. This is where we will be writing all our CSS. So if you can see here, there is a font. So all font related stylings. If you click this font on color. You can see that the font family, font weight, and font color. So here you can see the color palette 
and even the picker, whatever the color you wanted. So I'm just applying this color. Save it. Save the component. I'm just reloading the page. You can see the color got changed over here. So like this, you will not be able, no, you, uh, you don't have to write any stylings manually. You just do everything within the UI. You can see all other background color, background color field, you know. You can see the other layout. If you want the height with padding, margin, float, position, display, everything over here. So this is how you create a component, choose your own styling over here. Even you can write your own classes. You, know? you can write custom CSS as well. So here, write your own CSS property and value and apply. So you can write the responsive here. Let's say, suppose I, I don't want this particular color on the mobile. I like to add my own color. So just choose your color, apply, save. So let me go to the page. So the background color and the color. So if I go to mobile device. You can see that the color got changed. And mobile for better visibility purpose i just remove the background color right i just remove this background color save it go to the mobile you can see that the color got changed so this is how you know you make changes even the responses. So everything you'll be doing in the UI itself. You don't have to write any particular code. So this is, you know, very useful for the people like, uh, uh, as I said, you know, marketing people or content authors, content editors and the customers, right? So I'll just uh, show you one code. Yeah, so here, you know, you can, this is basically a Drupal, you know, within the Drupal, we are using this site studio itself. Uh, you can start using site studio from the scratch, you know, in the, the project from the scratch, or even in the existing project also, you can use the site studio. So, yeah, uh, so you can, uh, you can go through the, the official documentation, site studio. Yeah, thank you. Do you have any questions? Hi guys, thank you for watching. I had an amazing time learning all the new things here at SpecBeast TechX. And if you did too, do let us know in the comments below. Keep following SpecBeast for the latest trends in technology. See you in the next one.